chair pose. So in chair pose, essentially, you're sitting in an invisible chair. So in chair pose, what we're looking for, let's get my hair up here, is we're still looking for that nice spinal alignment. We're still looking for the pelvic tilt, no arched backs, loose shoulders. In this posture, you're given the opportunity to bring strength to the muscles around your shoulders, to the muscles in your hips, your knees, your ankles, and really build strength in those areas and the muscles surrounding those joints. Uh, you're looking at building more heat within your body, so it's great to bring into yoga to add that intensity level and the, the heat, the circulation. You're strengthening your abdominal area. You're bringing strength to your back muscles. This is a root and third eye exercise. So to get into your, your chair po pose posture, uh, you bring your legs together and you don't want to overextend your knees over the toes. You want to keep your shoulders out of your ears. You're looking for a little tuck in your pelvis. You're looking at the evenness of your knees, so you don't want one in front of the other to get the true benefits. Tuck that pelvis, your arms. Now, leaning with your arms out this way, this is chair. Up, this is also chair. Deep, chair. You can come up. Chair can be here. As long as your body's in the alignment, the depth of your chair adds intensity to it and where you are along your yogic journey or where you are along the yogic journey for that day and that moment that you're practicing your yoga. It's not something to judge yourself by. So once again, we'll just get oh, This posture also can help with asthma and breathing and open that chest area. So once again, we'll just run through that. Keep knees behind toes and bring your legs together. Bring a tilt to your pelvis. Arms up. Keep your shoulders relaxed and out of your ears. You want tension in that neck and that shoulder because that's defeating, you know, the whole idea of the work.